Hello, my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to your Daily Soap. Today, we're continuing in 1 Peter, and today we're actually wrapping up uh, 1 Peter. And uh, today we're looking at chapter 5. What verse or verses did God use today to speak to you? For me, it was verse 10. And you know, I think I also picked verse 10 yesterday. Um, but that was chapter four. That's behind us. So today, chapter five, verse that stood out for me is verse 10. It says, In the God of grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. My O, oh, my observation is, for those who have faith in Christ, we know that we will all face suffering of some kind. But believers can trust that we will be restored from all harm that has ever been done to us. Eternal salvation means that suffering will one day come to an end and that it will end forever. My A, my application is, to look beyond any suffering that I might face in this world, I can trust that God will one day restore and perfect me, making me strong, firm, and established. I can trust that whenever he calls me home, that he will restore every lost thing of value and much more. He will make me strong and secure forever. My P, my prayer is, Lord, Thank you for your unbelievable promises to me. Help me to look beyond my pain in this world by knowing that one day you will perfect and restore me. Lead me daily into my destiny and may I share in your glory forever. Amen. So this is my soap today. We'd love to hear your soaps. You can use the comment below. Even if you don't want to share your whole soap, just how did God speak to you? One sentence, how did he speak to you? Uh, that's always encouraging to me, and I know it's encouraging to others who read those comments as well. And so I encourage you, share how God spoke to you. Just give me one sentence. Let me know what he said to you today. We'd love to hear those. You're all in my thoughts and prayers. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to start First Peter. No, excuse me, Second Peter. Tomorrow, uh, be another quick, short walk. This will take us through the end of, of July, and I'll be giving you our, reader, our readings, excuse me, for the month of August. And I look forward to continuing this journey with you. We're kind of making it through the summer. We're kind of closing that up. And now we're turning our sights towards the fall. And I look forward uh, to spending that time with you down the road. So glad you're able to join us today. And now as we close our time together, would you join me in a word of prayer? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that in this world, there will be difficulty. But Lord, you told us that we can take heart that in this world, you've overcome all of it. But Father, there is also a future. There is a day where we will stand in your presence and we, we will be strong and secure forever. Father, what a promise. And all we have to do is believe in Christ. Father, I pray for each person uh, as we finish up uh, reading through First Peter. Father, I Pray for each person that as Peter uh, sought to encourage uh, the believers in the Roman provinces who were being persecuted, Father, I pray that it has been an encouragement to all of us as we have read through First Peter, that we have received our three touchdowns down uh, halftime talk from you and that we are strengthened and empowered to go out and live for you in this world. Father, thank you for your word that is living and true. Father, that still speaks to us and encourages us today. Father, may we never take our time alone with you and your word for granted. But Father, may we be excited every time we open your word, looking and listening 
for how you might speak to us. Father, thank you for loving us and for hearing our prayers. And I pray for each person who is hearing this video that they would just have a great day and that they would be blessed. And I pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Go out, have a great day, be blessed. See you tomorrow for first, oh, I did it again. Second Peter uh, that we'll start on tomorrow. Look forward to spending that time with you then. Have a great day, be blessed.